So, how do you start learning astrology? Let me be real straight with you. For a topic like that, quite frankly, where do you start learning astrology or anything for that matter? The truth is, Google is your friend. Right? But that, if you ask me, that's for amateurs, that's for wannabes. Let's just say if you want to be a serious astrologer, where do you start? You see, I mean, I could go the easy way and if you oh, you want to be serious, buy lots of books, attend lots of courses. But look, you knew that already. You didn't need to watch a YouTube video to, to just hear me say all of that again. So, in fact, okay, so for those of you who are serious, how I can help you the most in this video is to tell you what are some of the two biggest pitfalls that you want to avoid in your education. Now, the first is you want to avoid memorizing. This is what most, most of the students who come to my class, they try to cram all of that in their minds. And let me tell you, there are 10 planets, there are 12 signs and there are 12 houses. The number of combinations that could come out of all this, and I'm not even talking about aspects. So if you're a serious astrologer, you might know all of these terms that I'm using. There are so many combinations, there is no way you are going to memorize them all. Plus, on top of that, when you start memorizing, this is what happens when you're reading your friend's chart. Oh, you've got Mercury in the 6th house. Okay, wait, 6th house. Wait, let me, let me recall. 6th like, house means work, service. You saw what I was doing there? I mean, I'm nothing more than a walking keyword repository. You know what I'm saying? And this is far from professional. This is not exactly... I mean, honestly, if your friend wanted to know what Mercury in the 6th house was about, they could find out from Google. They didn't need to come to you. So what this means is that uh, if you are serious about astrologer, uh, astrology, you really need to go beyond just memorizing keywords. Okay, so that's the first thing. Okay, that makes the difference between a professional and a wannabe. Okay, now the second pitfall that you want to avoid, which I see most novice and amateur astrologers doing, are that they base their education on their own chart. See, this is what happens. Now I get it. Like when I started learning astrology, I mean seriously, if we start learning astrology. Who are you doing it for at the beginning? It's, well, it's not for your friend, right? You're doing it for yourself. I get it. I, I did it too, you see? So, but the problem is, if you want to transit from being an amateur astrologer into somebody who is a lot more serious, this has to go like way beyond your own birth chart. So what happens here is that most people look at their own chart and they go, oh, I'm an aggressive personality. Look at my chart and oh, I have Mars in Aries. So yay. So it justifies and it explains the fact that I am impatient, aggressive, you name it, right? But the thing is, what this pitfall leads to is the fact that when you get a mystery chart, if you were faced with a chart of, say, Mars in Pisces, which you are not familiar with because you don't have Mars in Pisces, and suddenly you get, you get stuck. You're a little bit like, okay, Mars in Pisces, I guess it would be a lot more soft, I guess, you know? And this is what happens when, when, when I see something like that, it's clear immediately that this person is an amateur astrologer. That means the, the truth is, the ability to read a mystery chart and to be accurate. Look, everybody's accurate when you're reading your own chart. And everyone is accurate when you're reading their best friend's chart. And you're also accurate when you're reading your mother's chart. But here's the thing, when, if you have a mystery chart, can you do the same thing? Okay, so this is what I mean by, um, now if you want to go and do a, a proper astrological education, then these two pitfalls can be immediately avoided because number one, we do not advocate memorizing. It's about whether you understood what the chart meant rather than, okay, these are the keywords, memorize it, you've got an exam coming up. That's not what, what an education is about. Our emphasis is on interpretation and not memorization. And actually, the first, this first point leads to the second. Because if your education is about understanding planet signs houses and how it fits into a story, you are never going to get faced with a situation where you have a mystery chart and you don't know what it means, right? So the, your days of staring at a chart and going, okay, let me recall what these words are, is over. That's not a, a good education. Will never leave you in that position. Okay, so if you are searching for a good astrological school. And if you happen to be based in Southeast Asia, well, I'd like to introduce you to Self Astrology Academy. And uh, this is my school. I started this in Singapore, uh, where I'm based. So if you live in Southeast Asia, it's possible that you may not find 
a school that has as structured an education as what we have. So we begin from something as basic as Planet Science Houses, again, no memorising, but it's really about helping people build a story behind the chart. Once students are able to get an interpretation, then we move into the next stage, which is what do you do with that information? What kind of behaviours show up? Are there desire issues? Are there self-worth issues? Are we also looking at relationship, career issues? So, and how do we use all of that by helping people find an empowering context for themselves? Okay, so then, and even further is for people who want to go way beyond amateurs, that means you want to go professional, right? So that means we are going to be focused on how can you use your educational techniques and your skills to be able to make a living out of astrology. And that's when we focus on things like marketing, building a practice, how do you handle your clients, okay? So if this is the kind of education you're looking for, send me an email, right? And you can contact me at hello at selfstrology.com. Okay, and uh, if you'd like to follow our channel for more information about astrology and what we can do with it, do remember, like, subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. I don't think anybody really knows how long astrology has been around in human history.